Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jacoby here. Today we're going to be going over a very basic tank tutorial. Um, this is going to be going generically for all the tanks in uh, in squad. Uh, we're going to be going over armor real quick here, guys. And then I'm going to be breaking this up into sections. So I'm going to be going over the very basics of getting into the tank, moving supplies from a tank if you need to, and gathering supplies to start with. Uh, the second thing is going to be driving. The third thing is going to be... The main gun, and the last but not least, guys, will be going over the commander and the turret roll. Uh, these will have timestamps in the description for everything we're going over. But right now, guys, we're going to go over armor. And then everything else, if you guys have not done the basic squad tutorial that squad gives you, I highly advise that. Um, that'll help you out in all aspects of squad, okay? So without further ado, let's get started, guys. So just looking at the armor, guys, as we can see in most of these vehicles, the main armor is in the front. Some vehicles have more on the sides than others some vehicles do have some rear protection for armor but all in all guys your main armor for a tank is in the front so any of these ass shots if you're fighting another tank are very important anything in the back will knock the engine out of just about every tank guys so that's just pretty much the basics of the armor guys um, blue if you come here is class 5 and there's a whole chart here if you guys want to look over which tanks you'll be going against or which tanks you like or don't like okay so without further ado, let's go check out the tanks over here and go over those. Okay, guys. So now that we're here at our tank, we're going to go over the most basic thing that if you don't know, you should. All right. So to get into a tank, you guys need a crewman role. Okay. So if you're a squad lead, you'll get lead crewman. If you're just a regular, you know, Blueberry, GI, Jose, or Joe, you're going to get in the crewman role. Okay. Alright, and if you press enter, guys, you'll find crewman roll up here with the squad leads. If you're just spawning in, and the squad and the cr lead crewman will be up here also, guys. So moving on to get into the tank, guys, all you're going to have to do is come up and hit F. Okay, you just hold it in the middle, your cursor, and you'll get in. But before that, guys, to unload and offload supplies, this is from FOB to the vehicle. You'll hit this one. You can do this inside the vehicle also. And to unload you, your vehicle to the FOB, you hit down here, okay? If your vehicle is flipped... Or stuck on something, you can use this to reset the vehicle. This is 45 degrees to the left, 45 degrees to the right. And this right here is a 180 turn on the tank, okay? Now, if you guys need ammo off the tank for some reason, and you're in the tank, you would hit here, and you can rearm. You can do this with any of the vehicles too, guys. If they're carrying ammo, you can rearm off of any vehicle. Alright? To get a crewman kit, you can grab one off of the tank, right, by clicking this right here. This is if you're in the field and you, you know, the the tank squad or whatever they need needs a crewman kit and they or they need you to repair you'd go right here guys okay last but not least guys if you guys are tracked like this vehicle is or if you have turret damage or your vehicle is on fire guys you can hit six on your crewman kit hit it twice and you'll open up a crewman repair kit and you can pull that out and that'll repair your start repairing your vehicle guys all right and that is the basics for that guys next we're going to go over the driver's seat, okay? All right, guys. So first things first, we're in the driver's seat here. I want to go over how to change seats. So to do that, guys, you need F1, F2, F3, F4, and that can go up or down for, depending on how many seats your tank gives you. All right, so F2 will put you in the main gun on the Abrams. F3 will put you in the turret or commander roll. And F4 will put you on the top 240 Bravo, which this is just for the Abrams, guys. But other tanks have F5, F6 seats. There's all kinds of seats on some of these tanks, okay? So make sure you guys kind of uh, experiment and test out all the seats on your tanks. All right, so let's go back to the driver's seat. So let's get started by starting the engine, guys. You hold E to start the engine. And to move, guys, you're going to use your ASWD. So back and forward or W and S, left and right are A and D, okay? And it'll take a little while to get used to if you guys haven't dri driven a track vehicle yet, okay? So make sure you guys take your time and get used to that. To turn off the engine, guys, just hold E again, Okay? Now, another thing I want to go over, guys, is deploying smoke. To do that, your engine has to be on, and this is to cause, like, a defensive measure. To, uh, if you guys get hit and you guys need to get out of dodge or something, you can deploy smoke. You can also use this to give your troops cover to cross over, over an open field or something or a roadway. You can drive through and deploy smoke. All right? And to do that, guys, it is left-click, and your engine has to be on, okay? You'll hear that little humming. That right there is you deploying smoke. All right? Now, let's go over... All of the uh, little dials you see right here, okay? All of this, all right? There's a lot going on here. So 
Number one, I just want to go over this right here. This is your compass, if you didn't know already. You can give your main gunner, if you see something, you can give him bearing, and he can also tell you which way to go, judging by where you're looking at right here. So if I need to go southeast, I need to go left, southwest, so on and so forth. All right, this right here is the angle of your tank. If you're level, it'll sit like this. If you're level left to right, it'll sit like this, okay? If you're off, these will raise and lower, judging by how your, your tank is seated. Next is your turret health right here. If your turret is damaged, he will not be able to move as much, his, or, and or it'll be pretty much locked up. This is your ammo rack, and or if you have a fire, this will be red. Uh, you can all repair all this by getting out with a repair kit, and this is your track health. If you guys are tracked, like the vehicle in front of us right here, uh, you won't move. If you have one track, you can move, and we'll go over that here in a second when we go over there, okay? Um, next... You have your hull health. This is probably the most important bar you got right here. This will tell you what the health of your tank is. If this is red, you are on fire and you need to get out and repair or your tank will blow up or burn up. This is your speed. And this will also have like your RPMs in there too. You'll see that going off in the background. And this is your gear. This will change from reverse to first to second to third, so on and so forth if you guys are moving. And this right here, guys, is the ammo of your tank. If you need ammo, this is how much you'll need. So if you, as you're filling up, you'll see this number go down. If your tank gunner is shooting, you'll see this number go up, meaning you need more ammo. So let's go over, guys, if your vehicle is tracked real quick, and then I'm, we're going to go kind of over more of the importance and why I believe this is probably, this driver's seat is just as important as your main gun seat, okay? Okay, guys, so right now we're in the T-72 that was out in the field we just saw and I was pointing out, and this vehicle is tracked. So one thing I want to go over, guys, this first off, you can see right here, my vehicle is not level because we got tracked. All right? So that's what that looks like. But what's happening right now is I can't I can't move. I can go side. I can only go in circles. My one track is the only thing working. Okay? So one very important thing to that if you get tracked by a, another tank, you're, you're going to have to engage that tank. So to do this, guys, you are going to want to face your armor almost directly at that tank if not maybe shift over left or right judging by how he is positioned if he's positioned right here i might want to face a little bit to the right so that his rounds might glance off my tank if i face to the left i'm already tracked on that side so that might also be the safe bet that is 100 percent your call and what you want to do but knowing that you can still spin circles and position yourself to defend against the tank or at least point your armor towards them is very important okay Okay, guys, so now, last but not least on the driver's position, I want to go over why this position is so important, okay? So as we went over with the T-72 that we were just in, if it's tracked, you being able to shift and knowing when to move and when not to move is very important. It'll help you uh, glance rounds and deflect rounds, which we'll go over ricochets here in a bit. But being able to move when... Sometimes when your commander, you know, doesn't tell you or whoever's in charge of the tank doesn't tell you is very important. Being able to help your gunner out or knowing when to get out is very vital, guys. We're going to be doing a more in-depth tutorial on driving, guys. But uh, that's about it we're going to go for right now, guys. All right, so let's move on to the main gun. Okay, guys, so here we are. We are in the main gun. This is your most crucial, one of the most crucial parts of your tank. You are the fighting force. You are the damage of this tank, okay? So, last but not least, guys, we're going to go over movement. I can move with ASWD going left, right, up, and down. I can move with my mouse also. Okay. Uh, I've, I've noticed that my uh, ASWD moves my turret faster than what my mouse does, depending on how, I, how much room you got. Okay. So, with that, you guys, next you can go over zoom. With Q, you can zoom in. Most tanks only have one zoom, but with the Abrams, guys, you have, t you have two. All right. With that, guys, next is stabilization. This will keep your gun stable as you're going over bumps and moving. It'll keep it locked onto a target. All right, and to fire, guys, very simply, you're going to hit your left trigger, okay? That's going to send a round out. Ooh, look at that hit, guys. That was just that was just eyeballing it. That's pretty close. Almost got it. All right. So with that, guys, we're going to go over where to hit on a vehicle and what to watch for, okay? So as of right here, I've tracked this vehicle already. It's pretty much dead in the water. All I got to do is finish it off. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to ricochet a shot. Like so. 
trying not to blow this up right now, guys. I'm trying to ricochet a shot off. Which you guys can't really see, but you see that shot ricocheting off? We just glanced off this vehicle. It's a lot easier to see when it's farther away, guys. But you'll see a big splatter. Oh, no, we blew that one up. That was the direct hit, chat. That's what we did not want to do. But, anyways, guys. Glancing off a tank is not important. What you want to do, guys, is you want to hit this thing solid and square right in the center. So right there would be your main shot. Right in the gun is what I go for 90% of the time. Another shot, obviously, in the back end or anything really square, guys. Just remember that all armor, all tanks have different armor in different spots. So make sure you guys check out each tank and go over the armor on that, okay? Next, we're going to go over ranging, guys. So how I was able to kind of pinpoint those shots is I had a range on how far the tank was. So let's say we see this vehicle off in the distance or infantry off in the distance. If you look on your tank, most have an automatic ranging. So it'll automatically digitally send you back what the range is. So I know this is 500 meters. Okay. Some have to, you have to do it manually, which we'll go over later in, in the, the ranging tutorials. All right. So with the range, guys, I know this is 500 meters out. So I line up right here, 500 meters. I can tell that by 100, 300, 500, 700, 900, so on and so forth. That's my range. Those are in the hundreds. Okay. So 500 is there. We're going to send a shot and hit it directly. Okay. So that is range, guys. Now, to switch ammo, say you don't want AP. Say you just want to take out some infantry. Okay. You can change your ammo by hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so on and so forth, guys. It all changes and it all varies. Okay. So if we want to hit some infantry, this will this nice thing about the Abrams is it automatically adjusts for which gun you're using. So I know that's 500 meters out. Oh no, that's 400. That's funny. So we just spray it down. Boom. Easy as that. You can also not zoom in, but that's a little bit more difficult. Okay. All right, guys. So that's the main gun. That's about all we were going to go over on this right now. That's just the very basics, once again, of this vehicle. Um, one quick thing, though, as we went over, you can change ammo. I want to go over what ammo to use, just real simply. Armor piercing, guys, is for any armored vehicle, okay? Obviously, it pierces armor. If you're going against a tank, you're going to use your armor piercing. Uh, HE is for your light, very light armor vehicles or infantry. And last, that, but not least... <laughs> He gets some little fucker. That one gets me every time. Is your coax, guys. The one I was just using. That's for infantry. Okay. And then also, every tank has got smoke grenades. If we pop these, that gives us our cover, guys. All right. Now let's go over the last part, guys. We're going to go over the commander and the turret roll, okay? Okay, guys. Last but not least, we're going to go over the commander roll um, and the gunner roll, since the Abrams has both in it. Um, usually, guys, the commander and the gunner is separate. But uh, for the Abrams, it's lucky and it's all in one, okay? So to zoom in, guys, you press Q, okay? To turn on stabilization, guys, you hit Z, all right? Um, the nice thing about the gun the having both commander and gunner is that the commander isn't just looking through a camera. He can actually, you know, take care of targets, so on and so forth. Um, to fire, if you're in the gunner's position, is left trigger. And... If it's, let's, uh, the nice thing about the commander roll, guys, is that if you see a target that your main gun does not see, you can hold space bar and that'll designate your main gun and it'll force him to look at what you're looking at. While he's doing this, guys, you can get the range of the target. So if I see a target out there, I can say, boom. All right. See the target? I'm designating, as I'm designating, range 423 meters, 400 meters. And he can automatically, instead of looking at his range and trying to figure out where that's at, he can just set his on 400 meters and take that target out. Okay. Um, and that's about it, guys. Uh, usually, you'd want to be the squad lead in the commander role, because uh, you can you can hold T and you can point out targets. You can you don't always have to be gunning. You can look at your map and do other things that you need to do as your squad lead. Okay. But once again, guys, um, that's it for the commander role. All right, guys, and that is your basic tank tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button. If it helped you out in any way or you guys see something that maybe I missed or that, you know, I should go over more, please leave a comment down below to help me out. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, we're hopefully going to be doing more uh, tank tutorial videos. 
and all that good stuff, not tanks so much, but uh, gameplay and all that stuff for squad and other a variety of other games, guys. Uh, not following me on Twitch, that's where we do everything live, guys. You can find out. I'll help just about anybody out if we're live playing a game that you are playing. Um, we're looking out to help. Um, just remember, guys, that I will be putting timestamps down in the description if you guys are looking just mainly for how to main gun or how to drive real quick. Um, go over that. Um, and thanks, guys, very much. I know that uh, I say a lot of repetitive things like guys and um, but uh, got to do what you got to do. It's a habit that I seem to not be able to break. But thanks again, guys, uh, and have a great rest of your day, okay? Peace, everybody.